received recently a wonderful charitable grant from a fantastic donor, uh, the Krzyzewski Foundation, <laughs> for the purpose of founding a brand new chair here at Duke Divinity School in basketball and theology. <laughs> so, thank you for coming. We have gathered all our wonderful faculty to speak about how their research and their work could intersect uh, with this new initiation we're moving forward in. So, without further ado, let's move right <laughs> Let's move right to the pragmatic task. <laughs> I'm Lester Root. <laughs> the Lord be with you. No. <laughs> Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> You who <laughs> created the world in the shape of a basketball <laughs> help us to see that the world is brown. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dear friends. Well, I, uh, I appreciate you right coming out today. I am, um, I am Professor Willie Jennings. <laughs> I'm associate professor of theology. It's like our studies here at the Divinity School. And as many of you know, I have a profound interest in the of racial identities within the site of Christianity and anthropology. And of course, I am particularly fond of Karl Barth. And so to, to begin discussion about how we might integrate basketball into the field of theology, I have a quote from Professor Barth. This is taken from uh, Dogmatics 2-2, and it is it's, it's a very profound statement that I'm not sure many people have ever experienced before. So, just listen as I read this. We are now assuming that we have here, in the center and goal of God's works, and therefore the hidden beginning of them all. We are also assuming that the prominent place Occupied by this divine work. <laughs> that basketball forms the center of the Trinity. And the essence of the divine being has, so to speak, that's bad, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dean Lacey Warner. <laughs> Stop! Don't laugh! Okay, you can laugh. Oh my gosh! We're really, let's, I'm gonna hire this person, and I'm gonna run this place one day, but it's finished! <laughs> Let's keep it moving along. Just cutting into my nap time.
like like this, like a dominant seventh. <laughs> within a canonical context. <laughs> <laughs> and we have established here at Duke Divinity School. Um, and as you know, this, this, this uh, view of uh, canonical, this canonical approach to scripture was championed by my teacher, Bernard Chong. <laughs> and so I wonder how Divinity School might integrate the physical sport of basketball and balance that with perhaps God's covenant. We see it more as a both and. <laughs> In the Old Testament, we see the story of God unfolding with how God makes an eternal covenant with Israel. And so then um, also using Israel to bless the nation in this, this, this triangle I like to use. And I'd like to uh, propose that we perhaps. <laughs> And so we 
want to see how how that, how these these arguments might play out. Because because they're wait, hold on, I'm I'm coming to you. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> controversy all over again. No one seems to be able to, to decide what's going on. And so we have this, we have this anger welling up inside of us that kind of expresses the curvatus of our soul. <laughs> of course, this brings me to my third point. Oh, we, we must move uh, on. Uh, uh, and as you, as you. All right, I'm Amy Laura Hall. I'm, I'm teaching ethics here at the Divinity School. All right, when I watch basketball, I, I'd say, do you see the players? Because that's more or less what I say after everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 